I believe that I have been telling you all that your enemies are not your enemies. Your true enemies are demons and Satan. The human that may have abused you, whether sexually, mentally, emotionally, whatever type of lee, it was a demon influencing those people. Think about it. If there is a puppeteer, and this puppeteer is controlling a puppet, and the puppet hits you, would you hit the puppet? No. Why? Because a puppet is a puppet. That puppet is being used. If you want that puppet to stop hitting you, you would deal with the puppeteer. Okay. The human is the puppet. Why would you attack the puppeteer? It really makes no sense because even if you kill the puppeteer, I mean, even if you kill the puppet, all the puppeteer have to do is find another puppet. This is why wherever you go, you meet the same type of people. When you leave this job, you go to another job. And yes, this person has a different name, different whatever, but that person treats you the same way as your other enemy at your last job or school, church, whatever else. You do warfare with the puppeteer, with the demon. Some people get abused in life, whether sexually, mentally, physically, so on and so on. And what I have been noticing as well, so many people turn to witchcraft. The puppeteer is a demon, so you are turning to a demon for help. So the person, the entities that are hurting you are demons. So you are going to your enemy for help when it is because of them you are hurting. I have been noticing as well, people who turn to witchcraft, and I am not saying this in a mean way or in insulting way, people who turn to witchcraft are very insecure. They have very low self-esteem. They are easily hurt, hypersensitive. There is something else in my mind. I forget it is right at the tip, but I can't. What is that? When your feelings change so much. Ah. They are unstable people, but that is not the word that I am looking for. There is something else. When your feelings quickly change, chances are too, they are bipolar. Many of them are, or some of them are. Or should I say there are people who turn to witchcraft, those type of people, some of them, they are bipolar. With other types of mental illnesses,
you are turning to your enemy. It is your enemy that influenced that human to abuse you. Then you go to your enemy for help. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. It is the demons that influence people to hurt others, to hurt others. But you go back to demons for help, for power, when they are the ones that hurt you. Let's go to 1 Peter 5 and 8. And you are really going to see what I mean. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So what does this mean? What does it mean to devour you? Not so much eat you, but let's look it up. To consume, destructively, recklessly or wantonly and I looked up wantonly as well in a deliberate and unprovoked manner so Satan is out there trying to destroy you so if this is right this is clear proof that it is demons, including Satan, out there hurting people. But for some odd reason, out of ignorance, I can say, you turn to Satan for power to go against your enemies, but when you go to Satan, it curses you more. Satan and demons influence people to hurt you. Okay. So you are hurt and you are not willing to forgive. So you turn to demons and Satan, <laughs> the same ones that hurt you or influenced people to hurt you, and you are asking them for power. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. When you deal with demons and Satan, you are going to be cursed more. There are people, when bad things happen to them, they get angry with God. God, why did you allow this to happen? Listen. No matter what God allows, if you can't defeat God, why rebel against him? You are choosing, choosing to partner up with demons and Satan. But Satan could not defeat God. He have to obey God. But you believe that by joining Satan and because he gives you a tiny bit of power, you believe that going down this route is going to take you someplace. Don't you know that your ending is going to be just like his? He is going to the lake of fire. If Satan could, listen, if Satan really had power over everything, why can't he do all that he wants to do now? Why can't he destroy all the Christians now? 
think about that. If he truly was as powerful as you think, why can't he stay in heaven now? But you believe that by joining Satan, demons and stuff like that, that your life is going to become better. Have it became better yet? No, you are still as miserable as you always were. Perhaps even more. Think about that. Why would you join a person that has inferior power? You know Satan don't have more power than God. You know Satan, Satan is going to be cast into the lake of fire. But you want to join him for what? Well, Kevin, I don't care. If that is true, let someone torture you all day, every day. If you can handle that, then what you say is true, that you don't care. But if you can't handle a person torturing you, every day, then you do care. No matter what God allows in your life, take it. Yes, I am not happy how my life was back then or what I had to go through, but hey, I am just a human. Who am I to question God? Who am I to reprimand God? I am just dirt made out of dirt. Rebelling against God is foolish. It makes no sense. You can't win. You lose at every corner. Why settle for inferior power coming from demons? If demons were so powerful, why can't they do everything they want to do now? Because they aren't allowed, meaning they are inferior. Think about that. So you are knowingly serving demons and Satan, knowing that they are inferior, but believe that one day he is going to overthrow God. How? How can he do it? Satan even knows that he already lost. All he wants to do is drag, let me watch my words. All he wants to do is take humans that are not thinking right down to hell with him. He already knows that he lost. He is just deceiving you. Think about that. He knows he lost. Demons know that they have lost. They just want to deceive more humans and take them to hell. That is what they want. But you believe that Satan is really going to overthrow God. So you are harming other humans because someone hurt you back when you were younger. Do you see how crazy that is? All you are doing is cursing yourself more, which really makes no sense. I should have been dead long ago. Obviously, 
demons could not kill me. And that should point out more to you that demons have inferior power because I would be dead by now if demons had their way. By far, long ago. But you want to serve inferior creatures just because they show you some power or give you some power you are willing to do foolish things sacrificing your soul for inferior power God is offering so much but you are willing to take so less for inferior power. Even if Satan gives you one million dollars, a good job, a good car, don't you know that everything on this earth is going to pass away? You can only enjoy that while you are living on this earth. And once you die, you are either going to heaven or hell. But if you choose to serve Satan, you are going to hell. So what he gave you you can only enjoy that for a short while. Think about that. Inferior power. Why settle for inferior power? From demons. Hideous beasts. We have authority, humans have authority over this earth, but you are willing to give your authority to hideous beasts, demons. Are you serious? Are you serious? Think about that. If Satan was so powerful, why can't he defeat God now? Why can't he overthrow Jesus Christ now? Why can't he kill all the Christians now if he is so powerful? Why does he have to abide by some rules if he is so powerful? You are being deceived and you are going to the same place as him once the end of the world happens. Think about that. There is no eternal life when you choose to obey demons and Satan. There is no life. Only pain and sorrow. That's it. Think about that. Inferior power. Just because you can do some tricks But look at what you have to do to do the little that you are doing. Compared to what you could do if you were living for God. I am protected. You can die at any time. Only reason that only reason that you are alive now is because of God's grace but you are taking a huge risk. So let me stop right here. This is showing you the people that abused you were being influenced by the people that you are partnering up with. Satan and demons. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.